Hey everybody, it's Boy Z Man here to bring you part 20 of our Let's Play of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last part, we uh, finished up the last of the missions before the final mission by sending Murray off, Murray and Sly off, to get the ruby from the top of the elephant head and sell it to one of our friends for a Cherry Bomb 500, which is always going to be helpful. And now we've got Murray's mission right here. We're going to get started. Final mission. And they run right into an elephant's right. path, apparently. That's a great idea. And provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. Alright, so it's time for us to go back to that terrible shooting mechanic that they've already had in the game once. Using Bentley here. Uh, we got to get Murray over to this lever first, uh, which is way over there near the elephant's mouth. This is going to be instrumental to the plan because uh, that cherry bomb 500 that we actually got in the last mission, it's this is going to be used to blow up the dam or something, and this is how we get access to the dam. We need Murray over there to uh, open it up for us. So first things first, don't let the guards kill us because apparently they knew we were coming or something. I don't even know. This is just weird. And but they're all monkeys, so it takes like two hits. See, it took us that long. Well, there's one more. Okay, there we go. Done. I think. Oh crap! We got a rhino coming. I was ready. I had my fire flame. I had my fire hands. They didn't want to deal with this. Rajan is raining down a bunch of hunter seeker bombs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. Alright, so now we have to destroy all of these hunter seeker bombs. It's actually a lot easier than the uh, last time we had to use this thing. We were trying to kill helicopters. These are just very slow falling uh, bombs. But if one does reach the ground, Murray dies and we're all screwed. Come on, this is Sly Cooper. People aren't allowed to die, except for the people I kill while I'm doing stuff. But those guys don't count. They don't count. It's okay. Alright, just keep destroying these bombs. Murray is down there doing his thing, trying to open this. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think we have to open it for Murray after we're done destroying all these bombs. It's like, couldn't Murray be opening it while we were doing this? But, no, I guess not. We get to do the bet button pressing thing where... We press a bunch of buttons and eventually it'll open up the uh, lever. Alright, come on. There shouldn't be this many bombs and it should not be this hard to hit all these bombs. Seriously, I hate this targeting system because it's so loose. All clear for my position. How are you coming on that lever, Murray? I'm working on it. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. Yeah, this is just a button mesh. Can you button mash any button and eventually he'll do it. Whoops, I wasn't pressing buttons fast enough right there. Come on, Murray, you got this, buddy. One more. There we go. It's open. Yes! The Murray's might and muscle triumphs again! The mouth is open! They're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500! Alright, so yeah, the Cherry Bomb 500, it's basically another thing of dynamite. The only problem is I have to figure out how to get down to the lever way over there. I have no clue. Um, I do have a plan. The plan is not involved going into the river, so we're not going to go down that way, but I believe if I drop off right here, I, whoops, oh, no, 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 that Cherry Bomb 500 is going to blow up. It already did. Great. That was a waste. Don't worry, we're supplied with unlimited Cherry Bomb 500s. We've got nice people that like us. Um, I would rather not be caught by a rhino at this point, so we'll stay away from that guy's flashlight. But yeah, they keep supplying Cherry Bomb 500 for us here. As long as that snake doesn't hurt us, I think we'll be good. Nobody knows we're here. Crap. No. I'm hiding, you can't hit me. Okay, we're dead. Stupid TNT barrels and snakes. I hate snake. Z. Not not snake. Snake. Z. Yeah. You know what I'm. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, let's get back in this Cherry Bomb 500 and not screw this up this time. That'd be a good plan. Um. I still have no idea where I'm going though. That's a problem. 
Damn, I'm too tired to be doing this right now. Oh well, I think I can live with it. I really don't want that goat to see me, so we're gonna go ahead and try this other direction one more time. Hopefully it'll work out this time around and that snake won't be a douche. But then again, maybe that snake will be a douche. That would suck. And there's two freaking rhinos right there. This is gonna suck. I don't wanna have to deal with the snake. I have to deal with the snake and we're dead. Thank you. Thank you, snake. That's that's what I want. Okay, we can't go down that way, let's face it. We have that freaking snake to deal with down there. Let's instead go this way. Hopefully there's an easy path that we can take to get over there. Honestly, I don't remember what the paths are over this way. I just have to make sure I don't get caught by any of these rhinos. He didn't see. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. Just keep moving, dude. Seriously, this is ridiculous. All right, let's go. I think we're out of the we're out of the uh, uh, danger zone. I don't. Why? All of a sudden, Highway to the Danger Zone just popped into my head, and I was gonna sing it for you guys, but I don't sing. I don't sing things. That's not a good idea for me. All right, so just keep sneaking around. That guy's gonna go right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go left. I can't go left, I'm gonna go right. Um, up this bridge. I think we're almost there. I think we found the correct path. Just keep going up this bridge, and on what level is it gonna be on is the issue here. I'm gonna move over to the side here so we're not blocking the path of this rhino. Turn, rhino. Turn. Oh boy, did you ever turn the wrong way, bro. Whatever. Alright, so keep heading this way. This is a really long, this is an overly long section for me. Seriously, all this is is me walking around in a TNT barrel trying not to get caught. It is It is a good example of the stealth type gameplay that you want to pull off in this game. But, uh, I mean seriously, people don't see a TNT barrel just walking around and then, then I don't know. You don't see a TNT barrel there, and slow motion run away as explosions and water comes out. You don't even see the door explode. That's what sucks. Black clouds and thunderbolts. My spice temple ruined. I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come, face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills. Boy, when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Alright, now Neela's basically going to show us how this works. All we have to do is jump from, a uh, Air... Jump from, a uh, point to point. Uh, without getting hit by Rajan's thunderbolt attack, which is actually a lot harder than it looks, because uh, you have to know which direction his thunderbolt attack is coming from, whether it's coming right, left, or down the middle. This one's going to be coming from the left, and then from the... Oh! I didn't jump in time. Come on. All right. Got to go all the way back to the beginning now. This is just great. I love this. All right. Hopefully I won't screw up this time. And how do I get over there? Boom, Thunderbolt. And there we go, we're on. Let's keep going, he's gonna come from the left, but luckily I was in the air first. Just keep paying attention which direction he's going. He basically telegraphs where he's going. He's going down, where's he going? How did I get hit? I was off the, oh, I was off the point. Damn it, Sly, you're really fragile. Neela said you should keep up with her, you can't even do that. Alright, let's keep trying this. We can do it. Stay on the right. It's coming right again, so stay left. Stay left. Where's he coming? He's going left, isn't he? Nope, he went middle. He's going right. Get on! 
Oh, somehow I made it. Now. Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy. This is it. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. It's go time for Murray. Uh, Rajan is a very formidable opponent, especially for the Murray. Uh, he actually has two, three basic attacks. He has his, uh, actually two basic attacks. He has his swipe, um, like that one, the swipe pound attack. They always come in succession with each other. Um, and then he has another attack where he strikes the ground and the water conducts its electricity. And the only way you're safe from that is if you're either in the air, which you're not going to be in the air for long enough, or if you, um, what was I thinking? If you're on a lily pad, you need to be on a lily pad, it'll help things. Um, and then he starts sending in his goons, which is going to be very helpful for us if we want to get some health. So here, I'm, I'm going to need it. I'm very, I'm way too straightforward in this fight all the time, and it pisses me off how I do that. Um, another thing that's very helpful for you is if you um, get him on the electric fence that he created, it actually does quite a bit of damage to him as well. Although sometimes it's hard to get him on the electric fence because of his attacks, which naturally bring him at least one step closer than you want him to be. Crap, I almost ran into the electric fence that time. Give me that. No, I need... I'm dead. I was running for the health and I died. Fat, pathetic, weakling. Shut up, you f stupid old tiger. I wish that guy would just say great and be done with it. Yes, I did make a Tony the Tiger reference with Rajan. <laughs> oh, I think that makes me a terrible person. Alright, so. I mean, seriously, Murray's punches don't do anything to this guy. This guy is strong. Plus that pound attack. It's 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 pretty hard. Luckily, all of his moves are telegraphed, and if you're not stupid like I am, you can get out of the way before he attacks. Um, whereas you can get in a couple of good hits. I'm just not being smart about this right now. Come on, Murray. You got this, bro. I, just, I don't think Murray's got this. Shoot. Alright, I need... I'm not even I'm not even halfway to beating Rajon and I'm down to that much health. Does fire... Will fire do anything to this guy? That didn't... Well, I guess maybe that was one hit and down. But it didn't do any extra fire damage or anything. Crap! I'm getting killed by Rajon right now. Alright, new plan. I'm going to draw him over to... Okay, it was a terrible plan. I was going to try to draw him over to a specific point and then uh, get him into the electric fence. I'm already dead anyway, so I'm just going to take this hit. And off we go again. Great. Alright, let's try this again. Jump on into it. Hopefully I don't get hit right away this time. There we go. I think I got this. I, got, I think I got this. Rajan up against the electric fence. There we go. We needed that. Okay. Good start. We actually got some damage on him without hitting hit ourselves first. That's always a good thing. Alright, let's get out of the way. Into an electric fence. Into a stupid camera. Ruined it again. There we go. Wow. That time I got lucky with the camera. Who would have thought that would ever happen? Alright. Oh, Murray took a shot. It's okay, because our healths are about even, actually. If I'm not stupid like that, we're still about even, which is a good thing. But now he's got his minions in here, and I hate it when he brings in the minions. This is a fight between you and me, Rajan, you little girl. And, uh, you little pansy. And seriously, who calls in their minions? That's a, that's a wuss move right there. I mean, come on, you can't take the Murray on all by yourself? I mean, you've got a freaking electric strike, and you can't take on the Murray all by yourself. Into the electric fence, there we go, this is helping things a lot. I mean, I've got all my health, he's got half, we got this. We've got this now. Rajan, you don't stand a chance, bro. Oh, stupid monkey. This is why I don't like it when he calls in his minions, and I think I lost that health, that's great. 
Oh, get away from the electric. I like the I like the a, uh, enemy AI here, but they actually realize that the electric attack is coming, and they do the exact same thing that you're supposed to do, which is jump onto um, one of the lily pads. Yeah, when they see that Rajan's about to do his electric attack, they actually get out of the way of it too. Stupid Rajan, I don't like you. Alright, here we go. Electric attack, and you saw the monkey who was jumping out of the way to get on the lily pad. I think we've almost got this. We've almost got this. As long as I don't get hit again too many times. Move. Oh, crap. How did he do that? I thought I jumped out of the way, but whatever. Onto an electric onto a lily pad and I still got hit anyway for some stupid reason. Don't even try it, Rajan. I am not I am not down for your shit today. Get get away. You are almost dead. Just freaking die. Kill your own minions, please. That is very helpful. Give me health. I've got like full health. You've got none. It's over, Rajan. You don't stand a chance. Get over here on the electric fence. I got you, bro. It's over. There we go. And Oh, I was going for that last hit. And there we go, up on the electric fence. I need one more. Stay here. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take the electric shot. And there we go, we got him. Goodbye, Rajan. Nice little slow motion fall, you little. belongs to the Murray. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. The Murray. Nice. We got the clockwork heart. Everything's good. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Kamalita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. Crossing Cockney Liar Wow. I don't believe what just happened right there. Honestly, the first time I saw that I was like, holy crap. Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. <laughs> Come on, Bentley, you can do it. May I hate your voice, but you need to learn how to drive a stick shift so we can save Sly Cooper and the... Murray and the Carmelita Nader. Well, our next enemy is actually going to be this, uh, the Contessa, who is this, you know, spider person. I can't believe Neela betrayed us, but it's happened, and now it's up to us to save Sly, Murray, and Carmelita. It's going to be a difficult task, but it can be done. So, in the next part, we will be taking on episode four. So, thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and favorite the park, as every like and favorite helps. 
uh, leave a comment, tell me what you thought, because I really want to know what you thought. And subscribe to my channel, Zman 4491 for some more Sly 2 Band of Thieves episodes. So once again, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.